that they've made. And they bring you and I along with them. Okay. Now, let's say you take that away from them. Let's say you tell these entrepreneurs, these captain of, uh, captains of industries, these movers and shakers, let's say you take the money away from them or you put them in jail or you kill them if they resist to do what you want them to do. If you do that, what's the chance of any of these entrepreneurs stepping up in the future? You know the answer to this, but just in case you don't, I'll tell you. Zero. Zero. Nobody is going to step up. So if you think you have a problem now in China, if you think that you can't make a profit now because the stupid people won't comply, they have to be paid too much. If you have a guy like Jack Ma or Mr. Shum or, uh, or Ms. Duan, they could figure a way out. They could make, they could figure a way to make it work. Perhaps find a way to rebrand Chinese goods as not the cheap stuff you find at Harbor Freight. Perhaps it would be a way to rebrand it and, and bring them up to the forefront of the Western world. But if none of them are going to step up, who's going to do it? The common people refuse. You think the party members are going to do it? How? Put more of them in jail? That doesn't work. And tell me the government that takes over business and makes it better. Just give me the one example of when that has happened. Of course you can't because it's never happened before. And it will never happen because government bureaucrats are just interested in covering their tails, whether they're Chinese, U.S., or something in between. So the long way around this, folks, 20 years ago, 9-11, it's a terrible tragedy. It was the first time in my lifetime that the United States was attacked by a foreign power. If you call Al-Qaeda or Taliban or whoever the hell they were, a foreign power, okay? It was the first time in my lifetime this had happened. And the response was definitely a sledgehammer. We went into Afghanistan and that was a big mess. We went into Iraq and that was a big mess. That being said, dear listeners, we have it so much better than anywhere else in the world. We have it infinitely better than many places in the world. And you can judge number one on how our poor live Our poor folks live better than the middle class in many developing, in most developing nations. Our poor live better than the middle class in most developing nations. Now, the rich always, always do better, sure. But to think that China is going to eclipse the United States with a policy like I've just lined out, I can't believe that anybody thinks that way. If you do, send me an email. James Strong Show at Hotmail.com. If you have a true refute, rebuttal to this podcast, I will have you on as a guest and let you go ahead and refute that. Newsflash. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna do this. I will have no takers. That's my uh that's my that's my uh, uh prediction. Maybe I'll be wrong. We'll see. Well, that's it. I'm done. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. Easiest way to get the podcast. You know what the easiest way to get the podcast is. Of course you do. Jamesstrongshow at hotmail.com. That's the email address. You send your email address to me. I put you on the mailing list and then I send you a link to the podcast. When it drops, you can download it and listen to it at your leisure. That's it. We're done. Have a good weekend, friends. Until next time, this is James Strong saying adios.